Alright, howdy folks, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to Gates of Hell, we're playing more of the US Conquest campaign with the Mace mod, link to that will be in the description below, as well as the previous battles uh, that I played in the first episode. Now, some of you may notice that there it says uh, there I lost two battles, I actually, <laughs> according to some of the comments, they said, hey, what you should do is you should unlock the command squad, get stage 3, and then perhaps even invest in stuff like the Heavy Mortar Barrage. I hadn't played Conquest in a very long time, so what I did, I got the Command Squad, I got the Heavy Mortar Barrage, and I just wanted to make sure that I knew how to use it. And it turns out that when you play a battle, you immediately lose it if you retreat and you can't go back to your previous save game. I was just trying to see how it worked, and I ended up losing two battles, not realizing I couldn't go back. So I guess we made this conquest a little bit harder on ourselves. Not only have we now sort of fallen back on the map a little bit, the enemy have also, uh, well, they've gotten a lot more better equipment over those two battles and we barely gained any points. My army setup is very similar. I guess the only thing that's changed is there's now a command squad in phase two. And in phase three, we have about every single uh, German type of equipment from an infantry that shoots machine gun, pack gun, flak gun, and a mortar. But I figured I might as well try to put all of these guys to some good use. So if we, uh, I think if we dismiss them, we'd end up getting uh, a decent amount of money. But I don't really need money. I need research points right now. But we do have a pretty decent army setup. I'm thinking we actually, now I'm looking at it, maybe we'll get one more rifle squad and throw it. Oh, can we actually not? Oh. Okay, you know what? We're going to maybe throw these around. Oh, I mean, like, okay, well, actually, let's do it this way, this way. Boom. Done. All right. Sure. So this one, I'm feeling a little bit less confident now. I kind of just caused me to lose two battles early on in the campaign. But this should be all right. We're going to be fighting the Finns, which is a little weird. I haven't found a way to make it fight only the Germans. Um, but what would be interesting actually would be if we can fight the Germans and the Soviets at the same time or like, you know, in different battles. But I guess we'll be uh, right back with you after we load in. So yeah, this was definitely not supposed to be battle number five. This was supposed to be battle number three. Like I said, though, kind of messed up a little bit. But it may actually make this campaign a little bit more interesting, just purely based on the fact that, well, the enemy may be a little bit more ahead of us now in terms of their equipment, in terms of their, uh, I guess, technical advancements. So we're going to see how it goes. And nobody commented anything bad about this error. It might just be something that we don't have to worry about too much. And I'm also not really too worried about the last phase because it's just a bunch of towed weapons. Uh, well, actually, they're not towed but i think my m8s can actually tow them which would be nice to keep them moving although i guess i realized my mistake now and hopefully i remember to actually get an ammo box after we do this one because i think an ammo box is going to be a huge help for us here as we are definitely on the defense last time we noticed we instantly basically ran out of ammo i think our m8s are going to sit back here well technically one of them is an m8 with the you know the typical 37 mil and one of them has the quad 50 which by the way looks really cool with that camo net on it we'll get that third wave but i think we're going to just advance and see uh, what the contacts look like and then uh, we'll get these armored cars to support make sure we keep the anti-tank rifle team sort of advancing but i'm hoping there's not going to be too much of a crazy uh set up here because i mean we did just kind of give the enemies two battles where we they didn't get anything like barely got any money and they got well they got you know to advance in their technology wise so i'm hoping it's not going to be too bad of an issue we'll get that third wave just a bunch of guns so i'm kind of meh it doesn't really matter too much i don't think we just want to try to i guess i'm a little worried about sort of any anti-tank guns that may or may not be here Oh, well, we got our first contact. Looks like there's an anti-tank rifle somewhere down there. Don't forget, we're fighting the Finns in this case, not the Germans. Which I know is a little bit unhistorical. I don't necessarily mind it too much myself. I think it'll be alright. That machine gun has to die. I gotta get the 50 cal on that if I can. I'm just spraying towards it with the roof-mounted 50. We just need, like, a hit or two. Okay, we just hit them a bunch of times. Actually, those guys does not care about getting hit by a 50 multiple times. 
I mean, it's just spraying the little Maxim at us, which is kind of bad, but for some reason, my guys are not willing to engage. Maybe we can move you up a little. I'd hope that he wants to engage him with the 50 by now. Although we need to move up a little bit still, it looks like. Okay, they're just taking a lot of shots from the 50, but that's okay. That's okay. We don't really care. We got some guys down, but we can easily get them back up. Although that guy seems to be down, which is kind of annoying because that was... Was that it? That was, Oh, that was the assistant. Okay, I just don't want to lose the guy with the MG34 that I captured in the other battle. I'm feeling like the enemy doesn't really like dying. Ooh, that was cool looking though. I mean, they're dying, but they seem to be taking a lot of shots. In the, compared to the last one where the enemies seem to die like pretty quickly. But maybe maybe the Finns are really strong, you know, finish finish men strong kind of meme. I don't know, that's probably not true. I doubt I doubt that there's a huge issue in in the damage amount that either of these nations can take. I mean that wouldn't really make sense for one unit or one nation to have an insane amount of health. But I'm hoping that the Mace uh, developers did you know keep in mind that this could have been a possible actually no we're, we're killing them faster than i thought now i don't know why this was an issue earlier we'll move i guess we'll move two squads towards oh there's a gun it might have been my only 37 okay that was my own 37 we'll i guess just send one squad to just push in here together with the greyhound and we'll call in our reinforcement waves which just includes a whole bunch of bull crap so I guess what we'll do, we'll deploy the 37 mil, a mortar, and a machine gun to the point we've captured. And we'll deploy the 20, a mortar, and the infantry shoots to the left. I know I could technically get these cars to go pick them up and tow them over here, but by the time I do that, there's so much time I'm wasting that I don't really feel like spending on it. I also don't really know if I want to capture these. Well, I could just throw one guy on, on these uh, machine. Oh. Uh, okay, that one might be broken. Anyway, we'll just put some guys out here. We'll spread them out a little. There's the MG34 guy, so we want to make sure he definitely lives. We'll spread out our guys so they can't get grenaded by a single dude. Is that the flamethrower guy right there? Oh, no, that's the grenadier. Okay. And we're just going to sit here, get some basic defenses down. We definitely don't want the flamethrower guy to be, like, flamethrowing over friendlies. So we'll just... Oh, I guess you can't capture those things. It's actually kind of a good thing because it kind of feels broken if you can capture enemy defenses and just get free money. We're just waiting for everyone to move up here. So we'll use these. It just makes sense to me to have the machine gun and a mortar and the AT gun sort of sit back here. But in the meantime, we'll use these guys to push up. This command squad's kind of useless right now because I don't really know what they do other than providing you with some very basic recon in the form of binoculars and even that i feel like you can just use infantry you know with their own eyes but we'll see i guess we'll keep the greyhound here for now i don't think this is going to be repairable or capturable yep the gun in there is gone we'll just keep the greyhound here i guess we'll send the anti-tank rifle infantry is it this the at guys yeah we'll send them with us to the left and then we'll use those state. Well, they're not stationary guns, but we'll use this. Well, what would you call them? Emplaced, I guess. We'll use those vehicles or those. Uh, we'll use those weapons to push up here, if they can even reach it in time. I do. We have a mortar over here. It's actually firing, which I don't really necessarily need. At this point, I could, I guess. take Oh my God! He just mortared my own guys. I mean, I guess I should have not had him fire, but it's a good thing that none of them died from that. That would have been a really awkward uh, self. Sort of, well, not a team kill. I don't feel like I was necessarily... It wasn't an intentional team kill. I guess we can look at it that way. That was would have been just a little awkward. And we'll put this machine gun down, sort of watching down that corridor over there. And we have this right side covered, anti-tank rifle infantry. Let's push them up. And then the mortar, it's hopefully he doesn't, uh, you know, do that again. And then the infantry shoots in the mortar, and the 20 mil can push up. I don't really feel like grabbing them. I just feel like grabbing those units and towing them over here and having them go back. This is a lot of effort that I don't feel like putting in. Maybe I'm lazy. We'll get our medic to come up here, though, because we'll definitely want that medic to come up here. Okay, we got our initial contact. We need this 50 cal thing to start advancing and start working over the gunners on the McMaxim. So Mixim or Mac Mac Maxim. There we go. 
Okay, I take back what I said. Oh, there is a AT gun. It's actually a 76 mil. What we'll do, we'll crawl most of my guys forward. We'll split off a team of a couple and go after that weapon specifically as... Oh, that's good. That's good. The infantry shoots actually knocked out some of the crew on that gun. That's huge. That's huge. Okay, it's already paid for itself. Well, I didn't even buy it, I guess, right? I just got it from the... Oh, the FE-17, though, is knocking out my... Guys? Can we not, like... There we go. It's like, why can we not hit this FT-17? I don't know why they're just sitting there kind of doing nothing. Oh, there's another thing that just showed up right here. It's another 76 mil. This guy's definitely getting shot. I got to run him forward, throw a grenade. We've deployed... I guess I could move this 20 mil up more. Infantry shoots is in a good spot, I think. Mortar move up. Uh, we've actually found... Oh! Well, there's another one of these guns. Okay, sp spread out. One left, one right. Oh, he did, he did kill that one. Oh, this guy just got shot. I think there might be infantry nearby, too. There is infantry nearby. Okay, perfect. We just knocked this out. I guess my medic could try to rescue this guy. It would be nice if we could, uh, you know, capture some of these guns. I don't think I need these guns. I don't think I want these guns. But if we get them for free, I'm all for it. And then we can sell them back, you know, or sell them to the uh, to the arsenal people. I'm using up this... Oh, it just got shot by the 20 mil in the back. I don't know if I like that. I don't know why it had to do that. Okay, 20 millimeter needs to really stop. It could potentially kill my armored car, which I don't want to have happen. Okay, we've actually decreed that thing in front of us. So what we'll do, we'll run up to it, capture it. Our medic is going to run back this way. And I guess we'll just put soldiers on these two guns. And we'll grab two soldiers and capture this thing. Actually, we need to turn turn around. There's a T-26 that we could actually destroy with these stolen units. Or stolen the stolen equipment. We will need to move into these trenches. This uh, quad 50 cal armored car is just amazing. Okay, let's push in here and can we please focus on the t26 why are you oh you're not only now reloading rotate 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 okay huge t26 down we may be able to capture that i'm just gonna shoot at these guys because there was he loaded in there that's good okay we're gonna capture this so they are already sending tanks at us and like 76 millimeter type guns i think what we could do is send uh, someone over to perhaps repair the T26 for money. I don't really care about the FT-17. But it's honestly going to take a, a little bit of uh, some time because we have to capture it and or repair it and then get in it. So we'll probably pause the recording. We'll come back to you at the end of the battle when, once we have captured uh, the T26. And then I guess... Is he, oh, he's getting in that thing. Yeah, I didn't think so, bud. He's trying to get in there. He just got in there. He's still... Uh, he, he got out? Okay, I don't know. That's impressive that he managed to get in there. Yeah, we're going to go repair this T26, hopefully repair it, and then uh, we'll be right back. All right, so I actually retreated pretty fast after I paused the recording because there was at least two T26s and a 107mm artillery piece, and I didn't really want to run a risk of losing more men than I had to. But guess what? We did gain 950 money, almost four research points, We've got a lot more from this one battle than from the two battles before that that I, well, accidentally uh, sort of didn't play. But yeah, we didn't get a T-26. We did get some of these howitzers, so I'm not really sure what to do with them. I think, actually, in hindsight, we don't really need... Oh, look at that. We actually lost the, the pack. Okay, I don't think we need all of these together. So let's definitely get rid of at least one of these... And perhaps we'll get rid of the one that's more damaged than the other one. So that would be... Because also it costs more to resupply. So I guess we could have this and use it instead of the, you know, pack that I guess we lost. The little pack 36. I'm still not sure if we need all of these units. We'll just resupply everything. But it would be super beneficial by now to grab an ammo... Well, I definitely need an ammo crate. I don't know if I want an ammo truck. But we definitely need... The ammo crate. So we need to not remember or not forget to get that. Now, vehicle-wise, I really want to get this T-18E2. I think it looks ridiculous. The T-55E2 that comes after that looks even more ridiculous. But the E2 
if we can find it right here, has a 57 millimeter, I thought, which uh, I think this could be useful. And it, well, I mean, it looks crazy, but this could be like an upgrade. So what we'll probably do, we'll keep our quad 50, but we might remove the regular Greyhound just so we actually have, you know, a little bit more of, of, a, of a gun, I suppose is the word. So let's do that first. And then this is going to be the vehicle we'll unlock after the T18E2. <laughs> it has a 76 millimeter gun, but this is basically like an absolute meme machine. It has a 76 mil, so it's good, but I'm not sure if I like the idea of having a completely open topped vehicle. It's fast though, but I guess I'd rather probably stick with the T18, just purely because of the fact that it does have an enclosed turret, a crappier gun, but it is an enclosed turret, so it's a little bit safer. I also got rid of my anti-tank rifle infantry, because uh, at this point I feel like I have enough AT to deal with anything that comes our way, and I've also gotten rid of the machine gun, and I think we're gonna just have to save money, we're gonna save points. We could potentially get a heavy mortar barrage to call in later on, maybe during the defense, maybe on the next attack, but I guess this is actually not a bad setup, especially if we're defending, so we're going to select our mission. It's going to be the same one, I think, actually, that we did earlier. I think it's the one with the KV in it. So a little bit of a weird setup, but we'll also be playing against the finish again. I guess we'll set up our defenses and we'll be back once the battle commences. All right, so we're prepping here for the defense. We have all of our weapons sort of set up towards the west, northwest, and east, as well as the northeast. With the idea here really being to have one squad here in sort of reserve, I did forget to uh, buy an ammo crate. So I guess we're going to have to rotate units out if they run out of ammo because that was something I said I shouldn't forget. And guess what I did? I forgot. We're actually gonna make sure these medics put down some of their medical tents. We do have one artillery barrage and I'm excited to use it because I've, well, I, I tested it, but I obviously didn't test it on enemy units. I just tested it on the ground to see what would happen because I had never done it before, used it before, but it was pretty effective. So I'm hoping that here we are going to have enough of a defense set up here between this like, stolen Finnish gun, the German 20 mil, the infanterie Geschütz. We have a mortar here as well as a mortar here. This like very weird looking T18E2, which is actually equipped with a British weapon, I believe it's a six pounder, but we're gonna hope that this is gonna be enough. We have uh, blitzes, we are not guns on blitzer. We have, uh, well, anti-aircraft guns on trucks. We have Vickers tanks. We are fighting the Finns again, and we may have to pull this vehicle more like towards the mid. I'm thinking my 20 mil should do a pretty decent number on some of these units, especially if they aren't, uh, you know, very well equipped. There goes the 20 mil. That's perfect. And now we have to hope that some of these uh, stolen guns... Mm, okay, okay. I like it. I like it. I mean, the stolen guns are... If they work, they work, you know? I'm not going to complain. It does look like they have some sort of 20 mil AA gun back there. I wonder how... Oh, I guess we cannot hit that. I think he's not hitting the infantry shoots. I think he's hitting like infantry in front of us and that was causing some shots to fly uh, over. That Vickers did blow up really cinematic looking. I guess I should maybe ro uh, pull this little quad inside of the valley here, the little ditch. So right now it's, you know, a little bit safer from being randomly sniped. I mean, there was like some literally some random ass 20 millimeter rounds flying over and hitting it actually damaged the wheel. It damaged the wheel on this infantry shoots, which is very impressive. No, 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 no. Don't waste your time on that. I'm hoping... I'm listening. I'm hoping it's similar to the last battle where we had an insane amount... Okay, this is kind of unuseful, sir. You'll have to leave there. I'm hoping it's sort of similar to that last defense that we did over here. It's funny, actually, that we're playing on the exact same map. Just, you know, a different enemy and we're not defending here and here, but we're defending here and here. I'm hoping it's the same sort of big push because at least it's very interesting and, and it gives the enemy like an actual chance to maybe break through your lines if you're just on numbers based since I swear Gates of Hell before didn't have that and they would just be sending you units like throughout the entire battle pretty piecemeal but I like the idea look yeah at least one or two different types of uh Ooh, perfect hit. At least two or three different vehicles. 
It sounds like we're getting even more reinforcements. I'm super happy with that. And worst case, we deploy the uh, mortar barrage, but we're not gonna do that just yet. I think we may even hold on to that. It's a one-time use thing. So worst case, you know, we don't use it and then we use it in the next battle or whatever. I do kind of want to maybe to see if we can destroy. I just want to, yeah, it's like destroyed, but not destroyed. I want to destroy it if we can. I don't want them to, ooh, T-28s already? Okay, that's a little scary uh, to be, comp oh, that's perfect. That one's gone. I cannot get on it and repair it anymore. T-28s are, are a little scary because they have that low velocity 76 millimeter gun. They're not very well armored, of course, and that's the not really my worry. It's really the fact that they have a low velocity 76 millimeter gun that's going to really harass my infantry and besides that it's also going to be oh actually was a heat round was it doing anything Let's see if we can get a shot on it okay that's an engine hit i believe Let's see if we can hit that what is that oh it's a mean and rare for but it's a 70 centimeter one so we're using uh oh it did get a shot off oh my lord that was a huge okay we need to capture that for our next battle i think that would be an awesome vehicle or an awesome weapon to capture. Okay, there goes the T-28. Now we need to deal with their... Oh, they have one of those as well. Is that the one that we have right now, I think? Our infantry shoots should be very effective in this situation. Open field, clear, very good arcs of fire. We just hit that thing directly. They didn't care. But good... Oh, oh, there goes the T-28's turret. That was cool looking. But a good arc of fire... A good range of fire, good range on enemy units that come into range, or a good uh, a view, I suppose. That machine gun here needs to be destroyed because that's starting to annoy me. Wow, perfect snipe. The, the, the velocity on it is a little lower, so it gets a little bit of that arc, and that's perfect because it allows you to hit units like this, which was like slightly in defilade from the gun. Like if that was a direct fire gun, I don't think you would be able to hit it as effectively. I do really want to snipe that. 17 millimeter or 17 centimeter howitzer like this looks like it's going to be a very effective mortar replacement for my mortar that's just a 20 millimeter anti uh, tank rifle that they can um that they deploy because it's so big but it's actually good i don't really care about that but i definitely want to capture this we'll use some of my own mortar crews i heard some trees falling over here so i'm not sure if that was a vehicle approaching but we'll definitely go capture that in a little bit. It'll be very nice to have that instead. We'll probably just get rid of one of our regular mortars, put some crew on there, and then this will replace one of our mortars because that, that was a big explosion for uh, for a small mortar, which could be useful, especially... Actually, on the attack, it could be useful if we're a little bit more careful with our attacks. I, I tend to just run in there, you know? I tend to just run into the attack, get my units in. Ooh, that was a perfect snipe. We're actually getting rid of these guys really effectively. But I tend to just go in there and use my infantry with some light support vehicles. But really what we could do is just use more mortars. And especially if we have a 17 millimeter mortar, it's going to be, or 17 centimeter, is that's going to be pretty damn effective, I think. I'm spraying a whole bunch of rounds at this T-20. I don't think it's really doing anything, but we have 3,000 rounds. Actually, I'm killing people behind a T-20, I think, which is actually somewhat effective. There goes another T-20. We'll pull this thing up again, and we're just going to start spraying at the infantry behind a T-20. All it has is a single little DT machine gun. It's not like it's going to be very scary for us. So we're three, two, one, and come on, reload any time, and we're going to spray it down. I would hope that would kill it. There we go. That's an engine fire. We're just going to spray into the fog of war where there's a bunch of enemies. You can see the kill feed in the top right is going crazy. And we just need a single hit. Oh, Lord. Look at the left side of the like the HUD and then the kill feed on this thing. That is awesome, especially because they don't even know what's hitting them. And we're just spraying rounds. You can hear like the little chick, 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 every time you get a hit marker, which with the 50 cal isn't just a hit marker it's a kill marker really if we're being serious uh, there is a gun back there Ooh, okay well this is going to be a mission for the t69 i think so it's called the t69 has just received a mission to destroy that 50 uh 155 mil okay i think we did good we reload we push up and we're going to try to decrew that gun. I wonder if I can drive over to it, capture it, well, decrew it, capture it, and then drive back. This is 
could be a one-way mission though. But I think, uh oh, oh, I think we may be faster than it. Oh, does it gun on our left or a tank? No. Okay, mission one complete. Oh, it's a it's a forty millimeter. Yep, that's a forty millimeter. I don't know if we're gonna get our driver. Oh, he's oh he was missing a whole bunch. It's the important part is that we at least decrude that enemy howitzer. I don't know how effective this guy is gonna be uh, in a stand up fight. Yep, not very, not very. Okay, two world wars. He dodges these. He dodges. Ah. Oh. Okay. We'll have to go back and uh, destroy that 40 mil. I really want to try to capture this 155. I'm actually terrified. I wonder if they're going to be able to capture. Can we listen? This thing looks really good, by the way. I just want to put that out there. This, These models look really good. I'm just terrified that they're going to capture that and drive at me with it. Not that I don't think I can kill it, but if I kill it, then, well, very obviously I don't get to, uh, you know, if I destroy it, then I don't get to keep it in the next battle. But these little M69s have definitely, or T69, sorry, have definitely proven their worth. They are hilarious. The armor, it's like the speed of an M8 with the firepower of a, of a quad Maxon. This thing is gl glorious, and I kind of really want to go back and rescue it, but I'm afraid of that 40 mil, so... On the 226, that should be destroyed relatively easily. I think once the defense is up, whether they are out of steam and they run out of units, or they eventually, uh, you know, the, the timer runs out, I definitely want to try to spend some time to recapture some equipment. Specifically, I really want to recapture that M uh, T69, but I really also want to capture that 155, because that could be a huge help in future battles. And I don't have to spend money on, on unlocking uh, a heavy artillery piece if the enemies give it to me for free. Now, I'm not sure this is going to be a range, an over range shot. That was never going to happen. Yeah. That T26 is going to snipe at some of my guys. It needs to get closer before we can engage it. So I'm hoping it does move closer. We can always use this little weird T18, I guess. But preferably, I don't want to push it up too far. I don't want this thing to die. Uh, the 40 mil will kill this thing instantly. Where did that little T26 go? The fog of war here is really weird. I think it's obviously like to improve the frames that you have. Because if they rendered the entire map from this perspective, it would be pretty laggy. Or at least as far as you could see, it'd be pretty laggy. But it also would be kind of cool to just get some... some. I guess there's mods. But when you use them, especially for like screenshot reasons, you definitely notice the frame just, frames just instantly drop. And that makes sense. Okay, this thing is perfect. It's a six-pounder that you can drive around. It's a six-pounder like the British anti-tank gun. But basically, instead of it being, uh, you know, a very slow anti-tank gun, it's just on a very mobile chassis, which is awesome. I, I love this thing. This is like a World War II striker MGS to me, basically. I know the MGS is a way bigger caliber gun, but... Now... I'm listening... There might not be any more vehicles coming, so what I think we should do is move up some of our equipment and get a line going with these three. Oh, there is actually something approaching. That's a 40 mil. We will need to destroy that. Okay, that's just sniping our units one by one. We need to get to 160 meters, I think. Okay, make sure these guys all prone out because we're in the middle of the field by now. Okay, start smoking up, buddy. Come on, infantry shoots. Come on. Anytime you want to start shooting at this thing, it's big and bad and dangerous. Oh, huge. Did we just ammo explode it? It just it just went up in in complete cloud of smoke and dust. That was uh useful, but I guess that yeah, you can't rescue these downed guys, but they got hit by a 40 mil. I'm not surprised. But at least we can move up some of our units and we can start to clear out. Ooh, nice hit. Infantry shoots again. Such a amazing weapon in early conquest in Gates of Hell. It's almost like you're more or less forced to bring one of these just because of how good it is. But we can actually... Oh, did they reman that 155 mil? They may have remanned the 155 mil. They keep remanning that one machine gun. Oh, what is that? A 20 mil? Okay, I think they're all down. 
Yeah, okay, they also are sending still in re some reinforcements. Every time a wave, an arrow pops up, it's a new wave of enemies. So I'm thinking we want to try to keep pushing this up. I could technically tow this thing, but if anything, I want to try to tow some of their equipment. I don't really care about the guns, the 20 mils. I care about the 155, and I would love to get my T-69 back. I mean, it's kind of an awesome unit that I think is going to be very effective. Oh, there it is. There's, a, there's the artillery piece. I don't know if we can... T oh, we can tow that. I don't want to send this thing forward too hard, though, because it'll just get exploded by whatever is sitting in the back, like potentially another 40 mil. You never know, I guess. So we're infantry. As always, infantry goes ahead of the vehicles. Make sure it's clear. There is something back there. Oh, it's the same 40 mil. I guess the one that... I thought the one that I saw was the one that pushed up, but actually, it looks like they never pushed up that 40 millimeter specifically. Accuracy, uh, come on, come on. We may have to use our infantry to shoots against this thing, but we're gonna have to get quite close range wise. I don't want to lose this thing. We're gonna actually follow this thing back. Infantry to shoots, okay, these guys need to get into the defilade here. We're just gonna get obliterated by a 40 mil if we do not. That guy is down. I guess we can try to get a medic up here as we run my infantry to shoots forward. Forward, forward, forward. Okay, at least we're safe-ish where we are now. And this should have a good enough arc, I think, where we can hopefully knock it out. Deploy the gun. It's weird seeing Americans operate an infantry to shoots and using it against a Finnish 40 millimeter, but it just is the way of conquest, guys. I can't really change that. That's just the way it's gonna go. We'll take this T-69 back though, as we move up all of our vehicles one more time. They're trying to repair that thing. It's an anti-tank rifle, man. All right, he's down. I wonder, okay, let's start repairing that thing. And I think we put one infantry on this and then we start towing it back to base. And potentially that 40 millimeter would be awesome to have. Okay, get on this thing and we're gonna start towing it back. And then we'll deploy it back there and we'll come back for that 40 millimeter as well. And then that was another successful defense without many casualties. I mean, I think what would be cool, and I think Conquest enhanced uh, a really good mod that I honestly need to play for a video or a series. And it may actually, oh, whoa, 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 well, whatever, you're probably safe, right? You're not going to die there. We'll get the other, uh, we'll get the 40 mil picked up too. But a Conquest enhanced is uh, uh, really something I should play at some point in the near future. It, I think, even includes enemy artillery strikes, minefields to a way larger degree than they are currently. I think I think enemies can potentially use minefields, but I think in Conquest Enhanced, minefields are a lot crazier. They have a, a lot more opportunities to use stuff like artillery. They have some artillery that just drops on the map at the beginning of each battle. I guess we should repair this T-26 if we can repair it. I mean, and like get in it, I mean. Uh, maybe we'll grab a rifleman. I don't really want to care. I don't really care about the T-26 or the T-20 or any of these machine guns. Oh, oh, right. The mortar. I'll get one guy to jump off this mortar. And then that way we can still sell it. But we'll at least take that 17 centimeter one. Because that's like a huge increase over these 8 centimeter ones that the Germans have. We've now also captured two of their guns, including a 155 howitzer, which is great. Oh, we actually have uh, some units coming in. It's actually a larger amount than I figured would come this way. We'll move up some of these guns in the back. This 76 millimeters is actually engaging them back there, so that's good. Do we not have a bar gunner in here somewhere? Yeah, here we go. Set up and get the spraying it down, really. There we go. I'm not sure why they sometimes refuse to really engage. We'll continue just for a second while we're repairing the T-69 because I want it back. And we may as well repair this uh, little T-26 while we're at it. So we'll be right back with the results screen just to show you kind of what we got in terms of resources. And then uh, we'll probably be at the end of this video, a video which started with a little bit of a bad start where I was like, hey guys, I accidentally played two battles without making it my purpose but we won these two we got a ton of captured equipment and our t69 lives to yet fight another day granted the crew probably isn't too happy about what happened to them uh don't forget that these guys got hit by 40 millimeter i think they might have been he shells directly or even ap shells i mean i can't imagine that would be very healthy uh for you i don't think this mortar is gonna be able to move by its own that looks really cool but can i tow that thing because it has wheels 
No, that's too much. That's super cool. So we'll have a very mobile mortar that we can use. We'll be right back though, and then uh, we'll show you what we got. All right, so we managed to uh, get a pretty good game, I think. I mean, the enemy just got completely annihilated. I feel like defenses in Gates of Hell can go either way. They didn't attack us in a big enough wave like they did in the last one, in the last video, where they just sent a massive wave all at once with a bunch of supporting guns, machine guns. I was actually terrified of that one. This one felt more like a walk in the park. I just get to sit there and get a whole bunch of these uh, star points for the map resource. That's awesome. So that means we get to call on a bunch of these uh, heavy mortar barrages or some of the other equipment that we can unlock. So we did actually capture a T26, the 155 mil. We captured a 40 mil as well as we just got a 20 millimeter. We're just going to sell that because it's just easy money. And this 17 centimeter howitzer mortar thing, which actually can be like towed behind any of my vehicles. So I'm thinking we have nine. Oh, I, mis I misread that. We have three research points. It may not be super worth right now going for like another call in stage. So I'm thinking we maybe start. Unlock. I don't know if I want that T-55. It just looks weird. I think we start going towards some of the armored vehicles. Considering the enemy is getting some now. They're getting T-26s. They're getting Vickers uh, tanks. We're going to need to counter them at some point. So I'm thinking we may just go down to like the M4 improved just because it looks so cool or some of the uh, more tank destroyery things that we're going to need at some point. I just want to show the M4 improved. This is like one of my favorite looking tanks in this mod. It just looks silly. It looks like an American. It looks like a Wolverine and a Panther made a baby and somehow it looks a little bit like a weird Sherman, but it, it just looks weird. But I love the look of this thing. But that being said, though. We are going to call it here. Be back with another episode, hopefully with a lot less messy battles lost that shouldn't have been lost. And then we'll hope to catch you in the next one.